Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Afterbirth Plus with me, Penta Hybrid, the most boring YouTuber of all time. That's my new personality, is the guy who just bores people because apparently Isaac Afterbirth Plus is getting boring. So, there's a high chance of when this uh, rotation streak is done, I might just stop doing Isaac. We'll see, and then everybody's gonna bitch about it because that's what YouTube does. They complain that Isaac is getting boring, and then when I say, oh, well, fine, I guess I'll stop. Then everybody starts leaving me tweets and comments and joins my Discord just to tell me to fucking do it. You should start playing Isaac again. Ah, I miss your Isaac videos. Dude, I really liked you when you were an Isaac player, but I hate everything else you do. <laughs> uh, I jest. I've done like five... No, I haven't done 500. But I've done like... The amount of Isaac videos slash streams I've done just since January would probably astonish some of you. There's a hundred plus, it was like a hundred and, how many, how many Afterbirth Plus videos? 120 Antibirth Plus videos? Like 120 something? Antibirth videos? Plus the 68? Oh no, it's like way more than that now. It's like almost 80. Afterbirth Plus videos? Like, oh my Christ. <laughs> In 10 months. There's 365 days in a year. It's a lot of Isaac, guys. So forgive me if I, I... I mean, I completely understand some people might getting bored of it. I know there's like, as soon as Revelations comes out, people are... This is this is the thing, and we'll, we'll get into it in a bit. Uh, but the thing that really bums me out is that people are only saying this because Revelations dropped. I don't know if this is something that I care about getting. I'm going to play the Jonas Fatson route. I'm just going to not take it. Actually, I'm going to take it because there's a, there's a science reason behind it for this Tinted Rock. Wait, no, now it does, doesn't do anything. Wait, it does. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm going to fight the boss first. Um, but yeah, it's like only as soon as, uh, Revelations comes out, people are like, you know, your regular Isaac videos are getting kind of boring. Maybe you should consider just doing Revelations from now on until Re Rep Repentance comes out. And I'm like, you realize that you're hyped about Revelations because it's different and new, not because you actually are excited or enjoy it. Here's the thing. Like, Revelations is unfinished. It is unfinished, and with every unfinished game, a YouTuber or streamer will play it just to check out the updates until the updates have been checked out and then they will move on to you know whatever else they were playing like, I'm not gonna play more revelations than I need to I've already seen pretty much everything I need to see in it I'm just gonna continue playing it for a few videos just to check out some more hopefully see some more new items or whatever uh, and I very well may oh, let's do it now except I don't want to do it in this room I want to do it in the sacrifice room because then I can actually get rewards out of it but no, there's like, uh, I, now there's gonna be a bunch of bombs in the boss room. I, excuse me. I mean, that was kind of a benefit. Revelations is basically already done. Like, it's basically already done for me. And... Everybody's just hyped over it because it's new, and it's just it's it's kind of the same with Annie Birth. Let's be honest, it's kind of the same with Annie Birth. Like when Annie Birth first came out, everybody was stoked for it, and I'm talking about my series, not when Annie Birth the, the the franchise or the not the franchise the uh, the mod came out. I'm talking about just like my Annie Birth videos when they when it came out. They're like, oh my god, he's returned to Annie Birth. I'm so excited. It's so good. I'm glad to see him play, playing Annie Birth again because Annie Birth is so good. But then the second that Booster Pack 5 came out, people were like, yeah, Antibirth's old. I'm sick of your Eden streaks. Can you just, like, play regular Afterbirth Plus now? It's like, but you didn't... You were complete. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's tough being a YouTuber, man. I'm saying. It's tough being a YouTuber sometimes because there's always conflicting interests in your communities. And, for instance, like, with myself, my community, which... And I'm just going to segregate the... Just the Isaac fans in my community. The Isaac fans in my community are so conflicted themselves because they're like I don't know if I want an Eden streak or a rotation streak or this that or everything and most of the time I ask for votes and then I just end up making the decision myself because y'all can't even decide on yourselves 
And like right now, I'm just gonna wait for the Revelations hype to die down because it'll last like another week before people stop caring about it because they're gonna be like, oh, well, I've seen all the content and now I just have to wait another year for the new content to come out. And then people will be back interested in Afterbird Plus again. Views on this series will go up again. People will start caring again. This is the same old, same old, same old. Anytime new content comes out for a game, these people are like, that is so good. People are gonna start just like jumping off of the hype train as quickly as possible. But it is what it is. I'm not expecting people to flock to the channel for the Afterbirth Plus videos that are reaching nigh 100 videos at this point. I'm not expecting anything more than just growth. Even if it's slight growth. You know, if one person sees my, my newest Afterbirth Plus video recommended in their feed because they watched a Northern Lion video or a Tears of Grace video or an Alexa video or... Maybe they just got recommended by a friend or Reddit or whatever. I'm not on Reddit, but I think I talked about this earlier, but I'm not on Reddit. I don't even have like anything on Reddit. I don't have a post on Reddit. I don't have anything on Reddit. I am not a Reddit tour. I don't even have a I, Penta Hybrid doesn't even have a subreddit. There is no, there's no Penta on Reddit that exists. And I'm kind of glad about that because I still don't exactly like or know Reddit very well. That's just the base fact. I don't really know Reddit. I'll trust it, because I don't know it. Tiny room pin is not too much of a problem here. Especially as Laz bleeds. That was incredibly dumb. But, you know, this is going to be fun. Lots of explosions. Okay, tiny room Krampus, on the other hand. Excuse me? Okay, I'm slightly upset. I'm slightly peeved <laughs> about that one. That one! Slightly upset. Tiny Room Krampus with the dash attack that spins in a room that has basically negative five pixels to dodge. That's whatever. We made it. We're still playing as Lazarus, so it's automatically like a relatively easy run to win. We also have some... I wouldn't say good items, like Bursting Sack is probably the MVP right now. Oh, and our uh, Eden's Blessing was Blue Map. That's why we could see our stuff last last floor. I didn't realize we had Blue Map. Thank you, Eden's Blessing. I can never tell if you're about to die or not. I'm sick of playing chick. Oh, I almost did it. I was sick of playing chicken with these guys because they're going to end up popping into my face. And that's not to say that if people are genuinely disinterested in the series, that they won't just come out and admit it. Because, I mean, people do come out and admit that kind of stuff all the time, but... Let's be real. The one guy who's like, I'm kind of getting a little tired of the Anti-Birth... Or the Afterbirth Plus videos. I know I'm stuck on the Anti-Birth train. I'm kind of getting sick of the Afterbirth Plus videos. I wish you would just play Revelations more. The guys who are saying that are the same guys, and I'm saying this directly to your face, Mr. Commenter, so I know you're probably watching right now, and I expect a response and a retort from you. You are the same exact people who, if I did stop the Isaac series, you would bitch and complain and stop watching anything of mine until the next Isaac video got uploaded. You're the same guys that did, you guys, oh, I'll support you through anything you do, Penta, you're one of my favorite, you know, YouTubers, and I'd support you for anything you do, any game you play, and yet you only comment on Isaac videos? You only watch Isaac videos, and you only talk about Isaac. And I'm not going to sit here and, you know, down-talk my community, because I love you guys. But, at the same time, I'm not an idiot. I know what the guys who say those kinds of things come for. I know what you come for. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making the videos. I know what you come for. You come for these videos. You come for the Isaac. You come for the silly banter. You come for all that shit. I get it. I know what you do. You turn you turn the video on, you tune out, and you just listen. I get it, 100%. But then don't bullshit me by saying, I'll support you with anything you do because you're never on my streams. You don't watch any of my other YouTube series. It's the reason Bioshock get canceled. It's probably the reason that Terraria is going to only last like a week. I get it. But at the same time, you're also trying to bullshit me with your I support you no matter what nonsense, which is horseshit. The people who support me no matter what are the ones who watch videos and streams that they're not even interested in, but they watch it because they want to be there with me and the community. 
those are the people that support me no matter what just saying hashtag truth bomb I love all of you individually you're all you're all awesome for supporting me regardless no matter if you only support one series or every series or if you pick and choose what you want to support you're all awesome however don't treat me like a toddler I can tell who likes what and why they like that it's very simple for me it's no different than any other youtubers in my circle Think, imagine, picture some of my other YouTuber buddies. Alexa, Widzy. Those guys have all kinds of different series going on, on their channels at all times. All kinds of streams. And like, generally speaking, they have a relatively close-knit core community just like mine. Relatively close, close-knit core community that is always, you know, hanging out, having fun and talking and having a good time. Obviously, we take this. If that was mom's perfume I would think I would definitely take the other one but for mom's eyeshadow which is garbage no thank you think about their their communities like and I'm not this is like this is stuff I normally don't want to talk about or like to talk about because I'm talking about other people's content which is and it has nothing not the not the promotional aspects of it I promote those guys to the end of the day uh, it's the talking about their content in my content makes me feel very weird but just a st statistical output Think about when they started the unusual craft Minecraft server. Think about when they started that up. How many views does that get in comparison to Widzy's Gungeon videos? Guns, Widzy's Gungeon videos do better than almost anything I ever put out as a Let's Play. This is incredibly fucking terrible. I might die. What a shit run. Curse of the Tower is so bad. I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but we might have actually made a terrible mistake. This might be the one time where I regret taking Curse of the Tower. Usually I'm fine with it because it helps. I mean, it, honestly, it helped us beat that fight. We probably would have died without it, but at the same time, it's also kind of one of those risky fights. But think of those, those guys. Like when they did the unusual craft, those videos compared to like Alexa's. You know, for instance, Revelation videos he's been doing, which are getting, you know, five plus thousand views a day. Well, I mean, five plus thousand views total, rather. And Woodsy's Gungeon videos, which usually do fairly well between, like, you know, one to six thousand, depending on the video. And I'm just throwing random numbers out there just for comparison's sakes. And you look at their Minecraft, you know, series, which was, like, hard in the works and it's hard to schedule and it's got a bunch of different creators talking and bantering. And those are the types of videos that I personally like. Those are just ch chillaxed, you know, regular just dudes talking and having fun fight kind of videos with, you know, dudes that I know. Those videos, the views, they ain't there. You guys ain't watching them. And I can guarantee that if I was in the series and uploading those videos, they would not be getting the, you know, 600 to 1,000 views that my Isaac stuff gets. They would probably, no, you know, no jokes, probably be getting, like, 50 views and I guarantee I could probably name every single one of those 50 that would be watching it and again I'm not saying you have to watch everything people make but it's 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 we know what people come from we're not dumb there's we we've all everybody in this crew and I'm just talking about my crew and because I know us all but we've all been doing this way too long for people to just pull the wool over eyes no one is no one is fooling us when they say stuff like, you know, I'll watch anything you do, I'll support you. We always appreciate the words and the sentiment. We'll always give you a little heart on your comment and say, thanks, bud. But I guarantee behind that thanks, bud, we're like, this fucker always says that shit, but yet he's never watching or commenting on my other stuff. And yes, we shit talk you behind your backs because that's what all humans do. It's just like you guys shit talk us in other people's streams and comments. This is what we do. We're humans. That's what we do. Especially on the the world of anonymous on the internet. Obviously, I'm joking. I'm partially joking. There are a couple of names in the comment section that get brought up in our our internal discussions. I won't say who, and I won't say what we talk about or any of that sort. But just be aware that you can't fool the YouTuber man. I don't know where to go after this. The trail is kind of dead after that last sentiment. 
at the end of the day, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for putting up with my nonsense. Thank you for giving me a reason to do this every day. And thank you for at least lying to my face about wanting to watch everything I do. Uh, even though clearly the numbers say that you don't. Uh, because at least you're watching and leaving those comments. Which, you know, five years ago I would have dreamed to have one comment on each video I made. So, thank you. Even if it's not the glossy... 17,000 views a minute that I would like to have. Uh, Monster's Tooth is perfect because now I can use my... My, uh... My... He, my... Who, my... Ha, my... Ha, ha. I'm sorry. It's, a, it's automatically 2004 again. No, I, I, I... It gives me a reason to do this every day. Even though it's very stressful and I sometimes despise myself when I'm making videos and streaming. I've been going through a rough patch lately and my chat and my community who is the core community, not all of you guys, because most of you guys don't go to the streams or anything, but my core community has done a very good job recently of kind of just like, <laughs> no joke, made me feel important, <laughs> which like, sounds really silly when you say that, but the motivation to, to keep doing what I do is very much is very important and i appreciate the guys who show up and hang out in the discord and you know, keep me keep me on my up and up you know because like youtube and streaming is stressful it, it's sometimes downright fucking depressing and becomes sometimes is incredibly hard to try and get through and we need we need that support and i can't believe that I was able to do it without the support that I have nowadays because my support line nowadays is like 50 times larger than it was you know two and a half years ago three years ago like three years ago I would have I would have I would have probably sold my soul for the support that I have nowadays and nowadays I'd probably sell my soul to have the support I might have in two years who knows who knows where I'm going to be in two years with this YouTube and streaming stuff in all, in all honesty, I could probably, I might, there's there's a chance that I, you could say that I might even just give it up in the next year. Who knows? Who knows where the life is going to take you? You never know where life is going to take you. You can't tell life where it's going to take you. You can't dictate that outside of a few small choices that you do make in your everyday life. And as shitty as that may seem, it's just the way that it works. And you can't really do much about it. And so, like, with the streaming stuff and the YouTube stuff, right now, I'm content. Right now, I'm perfectly fine. And, uh... I'm excited about Terraria. I'm excited what you guys are going to think about it. I'm excited about the stuff that I'm doing on stream. There's been a rough patch on the stream lately. And, uh, trying to get through it. It's incredibly hard, and for the people who are there supporting and helping out uh it means the world to me because it's getting to the it got it, it it is getting to the point and has gotten to the point i would even say recently where it's it's so much of a slump and i, I call it a slump because it's literally a slump the numbers do not lie <laughs> it is literally a slump like very big big bad awful slump um that every streamer and youtuber goes through numbers dip schools in session numbers dip schools out numbers dip so on and so forth people are working people are going back to college numbers dip etc etc but it's gotten to the point now in this this latest dip where it's a combination of my schedule my hours that i'm able to stream which i know is always a big issue with a lot of the people on the on the channel is like, I would watch you, but you stream at weird hours that I can't possibly make it to a stream. And I get that. People think that I don't get that because I'm aggressive about the fact that I can't change it. But it's not that I don't get it. I do get it. The reason I'm aggressive that I can't change it is because I'm frustrated that it doesn't work for people and I can't change it. Like, I can't do anything about it. And that sucks for me because it's costing me potentially money, costing me potentially viewers... 
Uh, it's making it so that people who I enjoy seeing can no longer be there kind of stuff. So it's 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 rough for everybody, but this latest slump has been mentally taxing to a whole new degree, and it's 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 bad. It's it's very bad, and I I just want to say thank you for the people who are helping you through it, helping me through it, helping be a great community and giving me a reason to actually turn the stream on or turn the recording on every day. Because there are many days where I go to hit the start streaming button and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I just shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't even announce it. Maybe I should just not do it and see who cares. <laughs> it's a scary feeling. You're locked inside your own head, wondering if people will actually give a shit if you just disappear. It's a very scary feeling. And now I've walked down this wormhole and I don't know if there's a an anecdote or positive note that I can take from this to lead me into a better conversation. Which is also an awkward situation. So I'm like, I want to save this episode by talking about something a little bit better. But I don't know what that topic is. I don't know, maybe I should talk about cereal. Everybody likes cereal. What's your favorite cereal? Can you tell that I'm trying to save it? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I take great issue with the fact that you just blew me with your goddamn brimstone. I take even greater issue with the fact that I no longer do double damage on this room. Ooh, he was about to do it, too. He was just about to do it, too. The soul is incredible, and I'm going to... Fuck! Shit! I don't know what my health is, and it's bad. Oh, I don't know what my HP is. I still don't know what my HP is. This is really bad. That angel may have actually just cost me the run. Hold on a second. Maybe we're better than we thought we were. Oh, we're way better than we thought we were. It's downside because because of or with old bandage, I no longer have uh, double damage, but that's only one heart away from fixing it. We are way better than I would have ever thought. Holy crap, I was actually terrified for a second there. We also have bursting sack. I should not... Fuck. I should not be focused on fighting spiders because they don't do damage to me. I should be focused on protecting myself and my angel deal chance as well as getting red hearts to get me back in double damage range. For example, that heart right there. Also, I have greed. Could not have been a better pickup. It's been doing excellent work for us. Thank you very much, Troll Bomb. Double damage, welcome back. It's good to see you again. However, this room is not welcome. <sighs> Epiphoria is a weird item. It's a weird item because I don't actually like the item. Like, as an item, like just as an Isaac item, I don't like it. But I would say that I think my chances, my, my actual stats, if you were to get like stats of me picking it up, are much higher than you might expect. Because I always, I generally always pick it up because it is effectively a tears upgrade. It's not really a tears upgrade because you have to face the same direction, but it kind of is a tears upgrade in the same right. You know, killing greed with a greed shot is just so, so freaking satisfying. It's just so satisfying to kill him with his own damn shot. I'll take this. I'll take this. Two of hearts. That's terrible, but fine. I'll donate my two cents. It actually let me donate six cents. What a strange conspiracy. Okay, now this is where we need to get some serious booty. We need one bomb. We need one bomb. Oh, you gave me two bombs, RNGs. I love ye. 
because I'm going to go in here. Small rock is amazing. It's a tears downgrade. By downgrade, of course, I just mean upgrade, but it's a tears, tears up, but it goes down. It's weird. It's like golf. Lower number means good stuff. Would it be too broken to suggest that uh, rainbow poops deal damage to everything in the room? I think I've actually had this exact conversation before, too. Telepills. It's fine. Preserve this deal chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Preserve this deal chance. Come on, yeah. Preserve this deal chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't help. I was hoping for the black heart room. Oh no. It's this room. We did it though. Alright, now we just gotta beat mom without getting hit. That might be easier than I think. Well, some dreams are better as dreams. Going up. Pocket this Ember card. It's a very frustrating episode because I haven't had a beverage all episode, which is very strange. I know, it's very strange, isn't it? I also don't have double damage right now. Oh, that's so unfortunate. We are, we are dirty hampered. Filthy hamper. Actually, okay, these, these are not at all where those bad guys are. <laughs> I completely misjudged where these guys were. Please, please die. Please, please die. I heard a penny drop. It might have been the penny I just picked up. I don't know. I almost just walked into that damage. Would you have been surprised if I did? Probably not. Use it. The double damage. Greed shot. There's definitely still a penny in that room. I did not pick it up. I'm willing to use my bombs in this room on this. I actually don't need to because it was a troll bomb. And I also found a heart on the end of the room, so... Fuck being me. Please, 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 please. Got him. I still have my angel chance. You will not defeat me. <laughs> Shit. Alright, I guess we might take this uh, low path here? Oh, never mind. I almost walked into that red poop. I would have cried. Sweet tears of negativity. I do remember the greed shots, the double damage Midas touch tears. They only take effect. If you have a penny to call, uh, to pay for it, you're actually paying for the the shot itself, like you would with most shots. You pay for your shots, right? Yeah. Excuse me. Thank you. <sighs> I 
This would not be the first no dam- oh, this would not be the first no damage womb I've done. I've done them plenty of times. It's just a matter of luck down. Great. Great news. It's just a matter of it being very important for this run. Nothing feels worse than seeing that greed shot that might have touched here fly past an enemy. Unused. Oh, there it is. That one got used. What the hell is this boss fight? I had a feeling it wasn't in here. In fact, I basically guaranteed it wasn't in here, but I went in anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. Because it prevents me from getting my damn bomb, my free bombs over there. Stellar. Love it a great deal. Is every 15 tiers that you get the Midas Touch tier. So you can you can math it out, just like I math out the uh the lead pencil shots. Commentary is a bit stunted. I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, I didn't get hit there. Jeez. Oh, Come on, you bitch. I got him. Oh, my God. That missed so barely. We went from talking about something that was very... Ooh. Something that was very deep to basically talking about nothing because I can only focus on not losing our... Excuse me? Not losing our deal chance. What the fuck? Where the hell is the... I have a whole list of excuse me in my pocket. Oh, it's Curse of the XL. Of course it's in a different location. It's Curse of the freaking XL. It's gotta be up to the right then. Because it's not over here. Because we're, we're at the level limit here. So it's probably the room right next to the room up to the right directly to the right of it, because that's the level limit up there, too. I, of course, went to the one room we haven't been into in this area. No, I'm out of it. I'm not upset. Also, we got Curved Daddy from going all the way down there, so I'm pretty happy about that. That isn't the level limit. Excuse me? I... I'm very mad. It's gotta be up then. Up to the right. Up to the big room and then on the right of that big room. Yeah. Good lord. Yep. Here we go. This fucking Skolex. <laughs> yes! Die, you bitch! Die, you bitch! Excuse me? I killed his tail. I killed his tail. Excuse me. Ew. 
I've never done that before in my entire time playing this game. I've actually done it. And it was worth it. Oh, was it worth it? <laughs> Get up that goddamn elevator. That holy elevator. Don't ride a holy elevators. Life advice with Penta. Now we're out of the nerve-wracking part of the run. We can start talking about nonsense again. Like, uh... What was I asking? What's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal, for those that are still paying attention, my favorite cereal just happens to be Honey Bunches of Oats, but I do like a good Kashi. Like, a Kashi, like, oat cereal. But, uh... If we're just talking, like, cereal that everybody can kind of just buy from a store, definitely Honey Bunches of Oats. It's very good. It's a very good cereal. I just don't care about the pills. Let's just move. Let's just move on. Get through this damn floor. Your death animation is far too long. Good friend. It's not over yet, though. It's not over yet. We still got the chest. Well, we got the Emperor card. The question is, do I feel like fighting Mega Satan here? And just using the Emperor now? Am I confident enough to beat Mega Satan that I should just use the Emperor here and fight Mega Satan? Rather than doing the whole chest? And I think we're almost to Isaac anyway, so there's really no reason to be having this discussion, but... It was a discussion worth having. Thank you, Relic. You're a good Tyler mod. Excuse me. Relic doesn't watch my videos, so he's never going to get that compliment. We have golden bombs. What am I doing? To be fair, I don't think Relic watches Alexa's videos either. <laughs> I think he just... He just exists. He's just a friend in real life. And therefore, he's just by by association kind of connected to the channels. Or connected to the channel, not channels. He's not connected to my channel at all, but... Yeah, we're, we're pretty good. Still might just fight Mega Satan, but I don't I don't think I'm gonna. These items are not good. I'm just gonna Emperor card. Let's just do it. Emperor card. Get these Midas touch tiers. Hope to retain the full golden damage. Golden damage. Crown of Light damage. The whole fight, just so we can stomp his ass, and we did. Absolutely, utterly destroyed. It was a pretty touchy run for a bit there with the Curse of the Unknown, with all the Curse of the or, uh, curse of the Tower shit happening. It was very risky. Wasn't exactly sure what our HP was, but anyway, that's 24 in a row. We're moving on to Eden next time. Fuck, reality just sank in. It just sank in so hard. Eden is such a good lot, like, streak ruiner because you never know what you're going to start with. And then the lost Lilith and Keeper. Fuck, why do they do? Why is the rotation? It's like a freaking MLB batting order. You've got. You've got, like. 
your slugger, your leadoff hitter who's not ever guaranteed a good home run, but he gets on base. You got your two hitters that are going to come in and possibly advance the runner, but even if they, even if the first position gets on, you got your cleanup hitter in fourth position that's going to home run everybody in, the power hitter. Now that I'm looking at it, it's actually like a baseball lineup. Then you got your five spot and six spot, which are pretty weak. And you got your seven, eight, and nine, which are the bottom of the batting order that people anticipate getting to. 